When Terry Week started working in the music business, he occasionally gave to his church. I kind of feel like that's tipping God. You know, you just, you're not really obeying his word and, and, and trusting him to take care of your finances. Terry realized he needed to give a tithe, or 10% of his income. When we do that, uh, right off the top, I believe we put our finances in supernatural hands. The Lord started blessing my income and blessing my business and, and uh, my life. My life just totally changed. I mean, I, I can't explain it. I, uh, I was able to buy a house, and uh, so the Lord really, really blessed. Terry and his wife Holly say their faithfulness in giving continued to grow. I was at home that particular day watching TV, and I was watching the 700 Club, and uh, I just felt impressed to give it, get up and give $100. Holly was a school teacher and had recently applied for a summer job at the school to supplement their income. That afternoon, uh, Holly came home uh, from work, and I, I'll never forget it. I was sitting on the side of the bed, and, and she came and sat on the side of the bed with me, and she said, well, guess what happened to me today? I said, what? She said, well, they hired me today. I said, really? After I told him that, is when he told me that he had given uh, the $100 that very day. Terry decided to test God again. I, uh, I said, you know what? I'm gonna give an extra 50 bucks this month and see what God does. That following Monday, a guy calls me on the phone and he says, Terry, he says, I, I've got a grand piano here. I'm going to give you. Terry owned an old upright piano, but as a musician, he had always wanted a grand piano. I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, why? He said, well, God spoke to me and told me to give you this grand piano at my house. So that happened the following week and the piano sits over here behind me. <laughs> In 2005, Terry and Holly became members of CBN's Thousand Club. I just felt led to become a regular member and send regular offerings. And I love Operation Blessing because it helps so many people and so many uh, disasters that happen like Haiti and, and tornadoes and Katrina, what have you. Operation Blessing is always one of the first ones on the scene to help. If a person is struggling in their business or struggling in their finances, give to God, give to God, give to His work, give God something to work with plant a seed in his garden, he will repay you. You may get a raise, somebody may pay a bill for you. It comes in supernaturally. You can't explain it. We've lived by this for years, and we have proved God over and over. And I love that old song, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus." How I've proved him. Or and o'er.